I have to laugh at this clip. Uh, hello, my name is the practitioner, bachelor of science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, and and, and magician, uh, parent magician and parapsych researcher. Um, I have to laugh at this for literally five. I have to literally laugh at this for about three reasons. Well, actually, no, technically two. I have to laugh at this for two reasons. One of which is the uh, is that he now is aptly named the Flying Dutchman. I, I mean, that is a really good title. But the thing which which I have to laugh at more is the credul is the credulity of the um or should I say the gullibility of certain news groups to actually believe that this is actually levitation. Um. I'm sorry, I have to laugh at this because the BBC did a documentary a little while back. <laughs> did anybody think to check the freaking stick? It's one of the biggest, it is one of the oldest tricks in the book. And it, yes, it is from India. He said he, he probably did learn it in India, and he can't say too much about it because of the fact that he doesn't want to reveal the secret. Um, you know, if he actually does claim that it's real levitation, or if people are actually thinking it's real levitation, they are going to freaking do it. All right. I'm going to explain how this works. Let me break it down for you. That stick, which he's resting his hand on, is connected. is actually uh, what is actually um, inserted into the ground. It's actually inserted into a um, a base or what have you, which is either screwed into the ground or covered with, with what have you. What he's actually happening is that when he's pressing on that stick, what's misdirecting from is that there's actually a seating pad uh, connected to that stick, which is inside into the ground. Um, if you watch the BBC clip on um, yeah, on the secret of levitation, the BBC documentary, um, you can find it on the same guy who does the history of magic. Um, it's the it's one of the funniest freaking. Basically, what it is, is that the guy is sitting on the guy is sitting cross-legged on a seating pad, which is then connected by a rod to that stick, which is in the ground. Thus, it makes it look like he's levitating, but in fact, he's just sitting comfortably. Uh, you know, he's just simply suspended in. He's act well. He's just basically sitting on effectively a rather elaborate chair, and people keep looking underneath him for, and you know you cover over that chair with a little something, and you know you make people look underneath or what have you, and it looks the same color as the pants. But no, people are not going to notice. Or if you set it in such a way that your pants are actually connected to the rod, it's you know it's not that freaking difficult to to mask. But it's it's one of the oldest tricks in the book, and people are falling for it because they're looking for strings. They're not thinking to check to see if he's actually sitting on anything. They're not thinking to analyze the stick. Okay, sorry, I have to laugh at this, but anyway, like I said, that ain't levitation. That's just some guy sitting on an elaborate chair. Um, again, if you want, find the uh, find the BBC thing called The Secret of Levitation. Um, look up uh, Secret of Levitation, comma, BBC, or type in The History of Magic and click on the username of the guy who put up the episodes for The History of Magic and then uh, look up Levitation. They'll have a History of Levitation episode and a BBC documentary on The Secret of Levitation, um, which actually explains this very trick right here. <laughs> I am amazed that the, at, the, at the gullibility of the media. Uh, well, actually, no. I stand corrected. The media are generally manipulative anyway, so... Uh, you know, are generally uh, propagandists anyway, so of course I'm not entirely too trusting of uh, popular media on stuff like this. Scientific media, on the other hand, I am a little bit more, and I'm not talking about scientific media with an axe to grind, one way or the other. I'm talking scientific media in general is a little bit more on the, um, is a little bit more on the uh, informative side on that, on issues like these. And that goes both, and that goes in both directions. Proponent and skeptic versions are equally informative on this. So I mean, sometimes they have good. Sometimes the promote proponents have good information. Sometimes the skeptics do. So, anywho, uh, that's my thoughts on it. I have to admit, I laugh at this because this is an old magic trick. And yeah. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, the little debunk of the Flying Dutchman. And um, toodles.